So studies of fMRI and uh, ERP are, are interesting because they tell us different things about synesthesia. So fMRI tells us what parts of the brain are actually functionally active during a synesthetic experience, whereas ERP will tell us when those changes might occur. In terms of when those changes might occur, we, we see changes early on in between about 100 and 200 milliseconds, both when synesthetes see a, a black uh, letter or number, and also, also if, when they hear a tone, assuming that the tone triggers a colour or the, the, the black and white letter triggers a colour, we see the, the changes early on between 100 and 200 milliseconds. And again, this suggests that it's not a, a late kind of memory retrieval type process. It's happening at the early stages of perception. In terms of fMRI, obviously when somebody has a colour experience, we see activity in the colour uh, sensitive regions such as area V4. But what's interesting is that we also see it in a number of other regions such as in the parietal lobes, in, um, uh, in for example the precuneus which is involved in, uh, in imagery, the parietal lobes are involved in multisensory integration and in the frontal lobes which are obviously involved in conscious visual experiences as opposed to unconscious. Uh, visual experiences. So we don't quite know what the, the role of the, this wider network is, but certainly there are other regions outside of those regions which code for the, the visual experience itself or the, the, the actual nature of the, the synesthetic experience uh, that, that are involved in synesthesia, which perhaps puts synesthesia into a spatial context, uh, uh, for example.